What is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name of course is Multi Kills HC and today in this video I want to talk about something that has been all over the board on my timeline over the last couple days. It's been on Reddit, it's been on all these forums, CNN even covered this story because it is that huge. So this is regarding Machinima's recent thing that they did with Microsoft and Microsoft pretty much gave Machinima a lump sum of money and what they ended up doing with it is they told the gamers to do this. You'll get a higher paid raise, pretty much, on the earnings if you guys make a video about the Xbox One and you playing the Xbox One in any of its games on it. Now here's the catch to it and this is why Machinima is getting heat for it and Microsoft is also getting heat for this. So one of the lines in this apparent contract that I'm reading about on all these news and gaming sites and all these things say that any of the YouTubers that made a video on this couldn't say anything bad about Machinima, they couldn't say any one word bad about the Xbox One, they couldn't say anything negative toward the Xbox One or Microsoft, and then they would be paid money for doing this video and it all had to be positive now let me go ahead and say this I've personally have done this for several different partnership networks I've done it for full screen I've done it for maker studios I've done it for machinima I've done it for a lot of these different partnership networks and let me go ahead and say this I will do this in return for money as long as I get to voice my own opinion on it if companies are paying me to play their game, great, you know, I'll go ahead and most likely try it out. You know, there's nothing wrong with trying it out. And you know, if somebody's paying me, I'm going to point out a lot of the good inside of the game more than the negative. But if there's something vital or game breaking, such as the game I'm playing right now, Need for Speed World, which is a really, really good game in general. I'm not bashing the game. They're not paying me to play this game or anything along those lines. But if there's something wrong with the game, I will go ahead and point it out and let me go ahead and say that right now need for speed world is an online game where you guys can play it for free you guys can download it for free play it on your pc whatever the case is and there's only one server so you have like 10,000 people in this one world driving around in cars well when you have all those people driving around in cars it makes a lot of lag inside of the game so that is a negative and if some company was coming to me and asking my own opinion about a game I'd go ahead and give it to my viewers truthfully. And that's one of the things I think is the biggest problem against this. It's not so much that the people are getting mad or upset that uh, Machinima or Microsoft did this. It's the fact that you can't speak your own opinion. And that is one of the reasons why Machinima and Microsoft are getting a lot of heat for this. If they had the contract that said, just speak more positively than negative about the Xbox One, Maybe, you know, it wouldn't have been as bad. But it says that you can't say anything negative or anything bad about Machinima, Xbox One, or any of its games. Then what are you going to do? Just give them a fake review if you never even played the Xbox One at this point? I mean, I can just see all kinds of flaws and I can see why everybody is hating on Machinima right now in Microsoft. But let me say this. I've personally played the Xbox One twice. I've played Dead Rising 3 once and honestly... I thought the game was really, really amazing graphic-wise. I thought it ran pretty smooth. I really liked the Xbox One controller. But one thing that really, really discouraged me about it was it was way, 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 way too hard for somebody to just start out on the game, never played a Dead Rising at all in the past, and try to do well on it. It, it just doesn't happen. It's like the Battlefield mix-up that's been happening over the last couple years, where you get thrown into a battlefield maybe you've never played battlefield at all once maybe you haven't even played it twice you haven't played it at all in some cases you're not going to be able to play the game right out of the box against some of the pros that have been on that game for years and years it's just almost impossible i want to say impossible that is a perfect word you are not going to do very well against anybody on battlefield 4 or battlefield 3 battlefield 2 bad company Against anybody that's experienced in the game, Call of Duty, you may have a game or two that you do good, but there is no chance, absolutely 100%, no chance you will have that on Battlefield 4, and that's one of the problems I see with games like that, and that's one of the things I have a problem with the Xbox One. If you haven't played a game like Madden, you're automatically getting destroyed, and all these games are on the Xbox One. From all my research and all the games that are currently out on the Xbox One, which really isn't that much, you really can't play any games that are out there that have a fair playing field advantage such as Titanfall that's coming out in March. Other than that, 
you can't even have backwards compatibility on your Xbox One without using USB and then just slow down the actual screen time. So that is what an honest review of a product would sound like. Now when you go ahead and block out all those things and you just go ahead and say all the positives, well, let's go ahead and just give you some of those. Xbox One, good graphics card, good price. Well. That's all I'm going to say about the Xbox One then, because there's not a lot of just positive things about the Xbox One. So if you're doing that, it's kind of a biased review, and that is why Xbox and Microsoft is getting a lot of hate for this thing. I mean, I've seen commentators with two, three, four million subscribers commenting on this, then you probably have an issue with the entire situation, and I could see this, I mean... Honestly, if my network came to me and told me that I was going to be 100% censored on a video because of a uh, person that was paying me to do it, I'd probably have to say no, just because of one of the reasons being you guys come to my YouTube channel day in and day out because you guys like my opinion and my feedback that I'm giving some of these products, and I couldn't do a video where I couldn't be myself, and honestly, I know other people might not have a problem with that, but honestly... I couldn't do that on one of my YouTube videos, so, you know, if I don't like their product, I'm probably not going to be supporting it, I'm probably not going to be making a video about it. But that is just my opinion on this whole situation. I think some people are overreacting a little bit on it and saying that there is sellout and things like that. I don't really see a problem with them getting paid, I just think the only problem about this entire situation is pretty much censorship on any opinion that they even had or thoughts or concerns with the product. That is where I see the problem. I don't see the problem being... You accepted money for something, and that is the end of the world. No, no, no. I'm not even going to get into that in this video. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys could, please hit the like button. It really does help me a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name, of course, is Multi-Kills HD, and I'm out.